Hi, this is Randy. When the narcissist left you or you left the narcissist and the narcissist picks up with someone else or already had someone else before your relationship ended, you um, might be obsessing and wondering how his new relationship is going. Is he really happy and they're just a wonderful couple? They're getting along just great. And the reason they're getting along is because he or she, the new partner, is, is perfect. And uh, you weren't. The new partner's, you know, probably just a lot better than you. And the narcissist um, is probably on his best behavior because his partner's so great that he has no reason to be upset or unreasonable, right? Well, that is um, not correct thinking on our part. We need to really get down to business and think about what would have had to happen if the narcissist was actually to create this good relationship with a new person uh, in spite of what was going on in the relationship with you. What would have had to change? Well, the narcissist would have had to stop after the relationship ended with you <laughs> and would have had to admit to himself or herself the following things. He would have had to say to himself, I was dishonest in my last relationship. That was wrong. I am going to work on being honest. I have a problem with being honest. I am going to change and I am going to become an honest person. I know it's kind of funny thinking about your narcissist saying this stuff to himself and doing this kind of work, but it brings home the point that your narcissist's relationship with the new person cannot be going well. So let's move on to what else the narcissist would have had to admit and work on in order for his next relationship to be going well. Well, the narcissist would have had to sit there and think, you know, I was way too controlling in my last relationship. I was a beast. I don't know what I was thinking. Thinking that I could actually control someone else's behavior and that this was somehow okay. I'm going to stop being so controlling. Instead of trying to control others, I'm going to get control over myself and I'm going to let others be the way they are. I'm going to love them for who they are and how they are and I'm not going to try to change anybody. Yeah, can you see your narcissist doing that? Yeah. That's what they would have to do. If you think their relationship right now is going great, they would have had to do that. The narcissist would have had to say to himself, I was immature and childish in my last relationship. I was demanding. I was unreasonable. I was acting like a little child. I always wanted things my way. I am not going to be immature, childish, or demanding anymore. I am going to be a mature adult man or woman and I'm going to be responsible for myself I'm going to understand and forgive other people's mistakes and I'm going to um, learn about virtues I'm going to rate myself I'm going to see where I am I'm going to look into my own values and I'm going to act more maturely 
and behave like someone my age with wisdom yeah can we see that happening no um the narcissist would have to say to himself or herself you know i was out of control i was out of control in my last relationship i need to gain control over myself I need to learn how to have self-discipline. I need to learn when to shut my mouth. I need to learn how to control my anger. I was way too critical of my last partner. He or she didn't deserve everything that I dished out. And I was also too sensitive to any criticism that might have been constructive. I am going to not criticize my new partner I am going to learn how to accept constructive criticism from my new partner. And I'm going to learn self-discipline. And uh, that's what the narcissist would have to do if for this relationship to be working out well. Do you think your narcissist did that? <clears throat> the narcissist would have to say to himself, I was really unfair in my last relationship. I didn't reciprocate. I didn't try to see my partner as an equal human being. One where there's give and take. Where people exchange uh, time and energy with each other. And, ex and, and, and that's an expression of love. You know, I didn't reciprocate at all with my last partner. So now, I am going to make sure that I reciprocate. And I'm going to feel good about it. I'm not going to feel cheated. I'm going to feel that that's just the right thing to do. It's going to come naturally to me. Reciprocating is going to now, all of a sudden, it's going to come naturally to me. Does the narcissist admit that he acted like he hated his last partner. He sits there and says, you know, when I look at my behavior with my last partner, I acted like I hated him or her. Why did I do that? I didn't really hate him or her, but I acted like it. I am going to now recognize and understand why I act like I hate someone when Truly, it's the closest person to me. I'm never going to act like I hate the person that I say I love. In fact, everything I said to my last partner, I did something different. I'm going to make sure that all the things that I say, I follow through with, and that my words are consistent with my behaviors from now on. You think the narcissist went through that, went through that business, went through that insight, went through that, that with himself? And so that's why his new relationship's going to work out great, because he did this, he did this kind of work. Even though there was no time in between for him to do any of this, by the way. Even if there was time, he didn't do it. I mean... We know he didn't do it. It just sounds crazy to to say and to think of. That's why I'm pointing it out. Do you think the narcissist says, you know what? I realized that I projected what I felt about myself onto my last partner. And every time I felt bad that I was doing something wrong, everything that I was doing that was wrong, I would act like it was the other partner that was doing it. And... I just project it all over the place. I'm not going to project anymore. I'm going to just recognize my feelings. I'm going to own them. I'm going to express them appropriately. And I'm not going to put my feelings and my, especially my negative feelings about myself, out onto other people. I'm going to stop projecting. I'm going to stop using that defense mechanism. I'm not using that one anymore. That one just didn't work. I'm going to change with my new partner. Oh, and I'm sure the narcissist says to himself, you know what, I cheated on my last partner. 
and I am never going to cheat again. That was a huge mistake that I made. How can I get another partner and expect them to be committed to me and, and I'm not committed to them? I'm never going to expect my new partner to do anything that I'm not willing to do myself. I'm not going to create new rules for my new partner and then not follow them myself. We're going to have mutual agreement and we're going to be fair with each other. It was just my last partner. I didn't do this, so now I'm going to correct that. I was also really irresponsible with money when I was with my last partner. So now um, I am going to you know, become responsible with money. I'm going to change that about myself because I don't want my partner to feel insecure or to get ripped off. Um, you know, when I was with my last partner, I had these devastating addictions that were hurting others and that were sabotaging myself. You know, I'm going to stop those addictions. I'm going to just quit cold turkey because my addictions really ruin my own life and other people. So I'm going to, I quit that before, um, before I get into a new relationship. Did, did the narcissist quit the addictions that he has or she has? Did he quit those before this new relationship? Because if not, this new relationship is not working. It can't. Does a narcissist say to themselves, you know, I was so sneaky and I hid all my true intentions. Everything that I really wanted, I didn't express. And I tried to sneak around with my last partner. I'm not going to be sneaky at all. I'm just going to be really an open book now with my new partner. Everything that I think and feel, I'm going to share. So my partner really understands where I'm coming from and can make the proper choices for him or herself based on my truth that I express. And, <clears throat> you know, I wasn't thinking clearly in my relationship last time. I am going to now think more clear. I'm going to make sure that I'm in reality. I'm not going to be paranoid. And I actually had like an inflated self-image when I was in my last relationship. So I'm going to now think about myself in more realistic terms. And um, I think I was grandiose before, so now I am just going to assess myself as I really am. And I'm not going to really see myself as being better than other people, especially my partner. I don't think that worked before. I'm going to going to stop that. You know, I misled my other partner all the time and I didn't care about my, what my last partner thought or felt. I'm going to change that. Um, now I'm going to care about what my new partner thinks and feels. That was a mistake. Um, I'm going to, all of a sudden, I'm going to care and I'm going to show the person that I care. I had so many unrealistic expectations of my last partner. That was really wrong. Now I'm going to have realistic expectations of my new partner. I'm not going to expect him or her to do anything that is not humanly possible. I mean, I learned from that mistake. You know, I really didn't listen to my last partner. And I love listening to my new partner. So all I want to do is listen to what the new partner thinks and feels. And another mistake that I made, one of the worst mistakes I made, is I punished my last partner all the time. And he or she didn't deserve it. I'm not going to punish my new partner. That is a commitment I'm making. I will not punish my new partner because we're partners and we're in love. So this is how the narcissist changes, right? This is how the narcissist would have to change in order for his new relationship to work. And what are the chances of that now? Think about it. Have a great day.